this year we are not going to be in Kololo. Uh, we are going to be only at Christian Life Church. And the reason is God has helped us uh, to extend our church. We have added thousands and thousands of seats uh, that can be occupied by the people that are coming to celebrate the Lord. Good afternoon, members of the press. Good to see you. I called you here to uh, speak about the end of year festivities uh, to address the issues that are um, happening in our country to uh, address uh, some of the sensitive issues uh, that we are facing uh, spiritually. So I thank you so much for uh, attending to our invitation. And on behalf of Christian Life Church and my own family, I want to wish all Ugandans a Merry Christmas. Those that I was not able to communicate to personally. And also I want to wish them a prosperous and a mighty glorious 2023. Uh, fellow Ugandans, this coming year, the year 2023, is the year of your big story. Every Ugandan citizen will have a big story. Through preparing and praying and organizing, we sense that after this long time of COVID and the international financial crisis that we are facing as Ugandans, God is willing, God is also able uh, to give us a refresher, a new season a new page and that story uh, of a new page of a new season um, is going to start in 2023 uh, something interesting happens when there is a big story big stories normally derive from bad stories out of a crisis out of a bad situation out of a not so good issue, great stories are written. We see this happening in the Bible. When things got so bad, it looks like they were ready to get so good. And sometimes it takes you to miss something to actually enjoy it afterwards. So, Ugandans, we have faced financial crises, we have faced issues uh, of COVID as I mentioned, but in 2023, I want all Ugandans to trust God, to believe for a better year as God rewrites everyone's story. I don't know how your story is going to look like in 2023, but I believe it's the year that Ugandans are going to enjoy God's provision, God's protection, and God's sovereignty. As we come together this year, we are all going to gather at Christian Life Church, only three miles away from the capital city, Kampa, right at Makerede Cafe. Over the years, we have occupied two venues. We've been occupying the Kololo Airstrip, and at the same time, we've been occupying uh, our church at Christian Life Church. This year, we are not going to be in Kololo. Uh, we are going to be only at Christian Life Church. And the reason is, God has helped us uh, to extend our church. We have added thousands and thousands of seats uh, that can be occupied by the people that are coming to celebrate the Lord. And with that, we don't need to occupy two venues anymore. And that is to God's glory. So I encourage people to come, first of all, with a sense of gratitude. Yes, maybe to some Ugandans, it has not been so great, but God has given you life, and that is worth celebrating. So we are coming to celebrate what God has done uh, in 2022, but at the same time, to usher in a new year, which we believe it will be a year of your big story. 
I believe it will be a year of big stories for many Ugandans. God, in 2023, will turn your trials into triumphs. God, in 2023, will turn your poverty into uh, possibilities and prosperity. And uh, I believe 2023 is the year in which many, many Ugandans are going to start their own businesses. They are going to venture into new opportunities and they are going to go to levels they've never been before. And that is because we've been praying and sensing that many Ugandans are due for a great, great miracle and a great story from the Lord. We are also coming uh, to ask God to help Uganda. We've been facing a lot of issues as a nation. Um, a few weeks ago, actually last week, our president showed us stories of children who were recruited by the ADF uh, into their ranks. These children are trained, empowered to not do great, but to do and to promote atrocities and carry them out. That is a sad thing happening in our country. So as we come together to pray, we are going to pray for continuity peace, but also we're going to pray for our children because today it will be yours, tomorrow might be mine. As we look at uh, our country, my message to those rebellious organs is that you do not topple or remove a government uh, using rebellion. That is old. That is outdated. That is outlawed. You engage in life-giving dialogues, conversations with the people that you disagree with. That way you can come together and come to a position where all Ugandans will be safe and secure other than destabilizing our peace that we have enjoyed over the years. To continue protecting our children from these atrocities or these exercises of the ADF and others, I urge the parents to take caution, to take care of their children, to protect them, to ensure they know where they are, even when they are sent uh, to shops or different activities, they should ensure that they have what, they, what it takes to be protected. And one layer of protection is keeping them in school. School is important because children will keep focused and they will have homework to occupy them uh, in a good and secure home. We now have one month away before school start. So let's continue to focus our children to education, to prepare them for their better future, and keep them away from the detractors. We have also seen ongoing attacks to police stations across the country. And that is destabilizing even the very peacekeepers that God has given us to keep our country. Once again, I disagree, and I also encourage those that have animosity, disagreements, and uh, dissents inside of their lives to really come to the table because we are here to build Ugandans and the whole Uganda. We are not here to tear it apart or to be selfish in such a way that we can uh, troll on somebody on, and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, uh, take advantage of the vacuum in security uh, to actually uh, take Ugandans back to days and months and seasons we don't even want to remember. So I urge you for peace and also for dialogue. Ebola is still in the way. COVID has not gone away. As we celebrate on the 31st of December, I encourage Ugandans also to look into that, celebrate, 
uh, responsibly and uh, get into these activities with a sense of caution. That way uh, you continue to uh, respect the guidelines that were set up and set forth by the Ministry of, of Health in our country. And lastly, I encourage Ugandans to make the year 2023 a year of hard work, a year of responsibility, a year of planning towards personal prosperity. Poverty should end in Uganda. Every Ugandan should have a will and a way that they can engage and see that they bring down this giant called poverty and joblessness. As we engage in creativity and as we engage in the programs that are offered by the government, I believe every Ugandan should enjoy their personal dream and uh, their stories will continue to build on each other. May God bless you, all Ugandans. May we see you on December 31st, right here at Christian Life Church.